Good morning. Welcome to another move sesh. Oh my gosh, it's so nice out today. It's like, it's like a completely different planet today out here. It's so nice. There's a nice breeze. It's cooler. I still don't have my, I don't have my shoes done up here. Um, I was, I'm late because I was filming today's edition of Name That Disney Attraction. Um, I'm playing this fun little game in my, in my stories. My son is a Lego fanatic and he's been building, we're also Disney fanatics. He's been building Walt Disney World, <laughs> specifically Magic Kingdom in our main floor. Can't even say the toy room anymore because it's like infiltrated other rooms, but it's really creative. And I thought I got to share this with you guys somehow because it's so fun. Um, so anyways, every day, <laughs> check out my stories. Oh crap, I forgot to share. Uh, hey, can anybody, can anyone share this? Is anyone able to share? It's funny, I can't seem to share it once people's, can someone share this to the Get Strong group? Is, is anyone able to do that for me? So, so watch my stories, because every day, I'm sharing one of the attractions that he built and I'm getting people to guess. So the first, the first one not many people got was a bit tricky. Actually, only one person got it right and it was my sister. She doesn't do these workouts, but I'll shout her out to you guys because I was like, yes, of course, Steffi got it. Right away, she got it. Okay, let's go. Your internet's acting. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'll, pr I'll, I'll cross my fingers. So each day I'm, I, so we're on day four, we're on day four, four of this <laughs> silly little game, but um, I'm posting them in my stories and then I'm getting people to guess. So the first day was um, Peter Pan. Not too many, not too many people got it, just my sister. The next day was Small World. You guys got that one. Yesterday was um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Everybody, most people got that one. One or two people got that wrong. But in fairness, the people that got it wrong haven't been in many, many years, so they got a pass. <laughs> I just filmed it because I'm gonna be posting it later today. I'm curious, this one's gonna be a tricky one, you guys. Uh, I have a feeling it's gonna trick some of you. I'll leave it at that. Anyways, welcome. <laughs> Talking nonsense as always. I should call these movement and nonsense sessions. <laughs> so if you're joining for the very first time or if you're just getting restarted, go at your own pace, modify anything you need and take, take any breaks you need to. Listen to your body. Don't try to get fit in one workout. It doesn't happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And if you do try to do that, you will be so sore and you won't come back tomorrow. So a little bit each day, a little bit, a little bit each day. Look at it as a, a long-term thing here you're here for. You're not here just to work out for a couple weeks and go back to your old ways. <laughs> you're here to, you're here to transform yourself into a better you and that's a lifelong process we should be always looking for how can we be a little bit better a little we don't need to do all the betterment in like a week you know what i mean like we don't have to like do the complete overhaul it's like it's like those house makeover shows right okay what what always happens in every House makeover show. They run into problems. You're gonna run into problems, you guys. You're gonna run into things that stop your progress. Things that slow down your progress. Things that make you have to adapt and evolve. Where did I come up with this crap? My goodness. But like literally, I I don't know. I gotta say, so I've been on this, this path with some of you since mid-February. I shouted out Jen and I shouted out Betty, mid-February, you guys have been with me. Like, I don't think you've missed a workout. 
So we're like, we're closing in on five months. And can I just say like this, this week, like the, literally the last two days, I suddenly feel different. Like just little, just little tiny, but I'm like, oh no, I, I feel a little different. And, and you get that kind of glimmer of like, it's working, but it's five months, you guys. Well, what's the big deal if it took five months ago, if, if I was told it was gonna take five months, I probably would cry. But when you're in the in the process of it, what the what the heck is five months? So I've increased intensity a little bit. You can increase with me, or you can keep it at the low intensity, um, or you can go back and forth, whatever. So remember, this is your journey, your path. And it's important for you to, okay, I heard this really awesome thing from John Maxwell said, he says, be a possibilist. So I think it's my new favorite word. I think it might be my 2023 word of the year, possibilist. What a possibilist is, is somebody who recognizes and accepts reality, but dreams of possibility. So how does that, what the heck does that have to do with you? What that has to do with you is recognize where you're at today, right? Recognize, here I am. I've maybe you've put on some weight through COVID. Maybe you've lost some fitness through COVID. Maybe you've put on a lot of weight through COVID. Maybe you've developed some really bad habits through COVID. Um, wherever you are, it's the, what are we doing? <laughs> Did I skip something? Um, it is the reality, right? Like you are where you are. Maybe you're, I know Betty's actually like crushing it right now. She said, she told me yesterday, her husband cannot believe the change in her. She said she feels better than ever. And she said she had to get new ID recently. And she said the, the new pictures look 10 years younger than the old pictures. Like she said, it's unbelievable. The transformation. So that's amazing. But if, if that's not you right now, if you, if you need to get yourself going, get yourself moving, just recognize the reality, but go two steps further. Accept, accept where you're at, because it is what it is. There's no, literally no point in, you know, being defeated about it. It is what it is. You can't regret what you've already done, right? You've already paid the price for what you've done, move forward. So um, recognize it, um, accept it, and love it because you are still worthy you're still a valuable human being you're still just as amazing as you were when you thought that you were better <laughs> right none of that defines you except so recognize accept and love right and then where you and then create possible possibilist where are you going, right? Where can you be in five months from now? Uh, what's five months from now? December. Where can you be at Christmas? Visualize Christmas dinner. How are you gonna feel? How's your energy gonna be? How's your mood gonna be? So if you're feeling good, push the pace here. These jumping jacks are for Quinn, who is Yvonne's son, who turns 13 today. And I asked him for exercise recommendations. He said jumping jacks and he had one other one. It's not burpees, I'll tell you that much. Except wherever, whatever you've done or not done. It's, gone, it's done and gone. Close the book, <laughs> open the new book, and write it. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I told you guys yesterday, <sighs> I'm committing to something on August 1st for 90 days. The way, the way I know my mind works is 
I have to process, right? If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Like I can't not do it, especially because I just told you all. And you, some of you reached out yesterday and asked me what it was. So I'm busted now. I, I can't go back. That's called burning the ships, people. Burning the ships because I will not go back on my word to you guys. Uh, give someone your word. Virtual handshake. That's what Iron Cowboy called it. Virtual handshake. I can't go back on it. But when I first considered doing it, all the resistance rose up. All the reasons why it's going to be too hard, um, unnecessary, and I don't want to. You know, so, th so what I have to do, I've learned, I need time to neutralize that and then turn it into all the possible possibles. Okay, if, if I do do this, one of my mentors always says, if you were to do this, if you were to X, Y, Z, you know, what would it look like? So if I were to do that, so then you're not committing to it, you're just thinking, what could be? And honestly, it's interesting because initially it was like, oh, it's gonna suck. <laughs> it sounds awful, I don't want to. To, huh, how could this benefit me? Oh, wait a second. I could do, you know, X, Y, Z that I haven't been able to do because of X, Y, Z, right? Thank you, Dawn, I appreciate that. Um, if not, I can share it later. It's no biggie. I just know some of the ladies see it in there, not on my page for some reason. Although I think you've all found me now. Okay, we're doing upper body. You'll want a set of set of weights. Corinne, I hope everything's good for you. Who's with me today? Who's working out with me today? Who's moving? Who are my movement buddies? My movement and nonsense buddies. Okay. We're actually, we're going to start with, you need a bench or a cooler. <laughs> I'm using my cooler. You know, see, you don't need fancy equipment, folks. A Coleman cooler that I'm trying to get rid of works just great. Okay, 30. You're well set up. Honestly, if it's not one neighbor, it's another neighbor. Now it's these guys doing stuff. I think I'm the only one not, not uh, renovating. Because I want to move. <laughs> okay, grab your weight. We're going to start with uh, rows. Rows, rows. Okay, let's go. I should have grabbed my towel. Okay, remember, nice, ar nice arch in the lower back. Try to, you want to square yourself off. So think of lifting with your shoulder blade, right? Your back. And you don't want to drop. You want to keep that shoulder retracted, lift, and it goes back to that position. Really important, especially if you happen to have fussy shoulders, when you drop it, you put, first of all, you're waiting. So now we're gonna flip to the other side and just keep going, keep going. No break, no break quite yet. We're doing three exercises and then we get a break. So arching that lower back, pulling that belly button in. Can I tell you, I could not, I didn't used to be able to put my back like this without pain or discomfort, or whatever you want to call it. I call it pain. Um, my back wouldn't arch. Okay, and now we're going to tricep extensions. So right into tricep extensions. Keep those elbows close to your ears. Like I can feel a difference in my body. Literally, maybe it's just because it's just past my time of the month. Okay, now we rest. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do that three times. Try, and we're gonna start with the opposite side this time for our, for our rows. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful out right now. So beautiful. I would love to live in this climate, like, for life. Okay, get ready with side five seconds. We're gonna start on the opposite side this time. So arched back, belly button pulled in. The belly button pulled in is going to engage the abs and maybe 
make sure that your abs are supporting your back. Your back being in extension, it's called, protects the spine and protects the muscles surrounding the spine from being compromised or from, you know, basically being pulled in ways that they're not really wanting to be pulled. Okay, so other side, we're working back. So I challenged you yesterday, spend, spend the next week, two weeks thinking, what do you, do you wanna join me? Some of you reached out and said, yeah, I'm in, for a 90 day challenge. 90 days is a long time, you guys. But just think, Iron Cowboy did a full Iron Man for 101 days. So I'm not talking about anything big. I'm talking about small but impactful change. So a small thing that will create big impact. I have two that I'm going to commit to. Today I'm in the neutral zone. I'm in the, I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, resting. My mind is neutralizing the negative, the reasons why I don't wanna do it. And I'm starting to build up the positive stories of why I do wanna do it. That's where I'm at. Once, I mean, I can't go back now anyways, cause I've told you all, so. I mean, there's that, that I thought to myself that last night. I get, I better get my head wrapped around this real quick. Okay, one more set. So really pull with that back muscle, right? Really think, think, is it bat wings? Is that what we call them? <laughs> bat wings? I don't know, but that's what we're working on here essentially. Maybe that's your triceps, I don't know. I've never heard that term until recently. We're almost there, six seconds. Keep pulling. Nice, relaxed neck too. Don't, don't punch. Don't want to punch your shoulders. Keep them, keep your neck long, okay? And your shoulders back and down. and triceps I have a favor to ask of you of those of you who are doing these I I and you may not be aware of it but you are part of my mission and my movement and my movement is to <laughs> I was joke, save the world. I can't save the world, but I can save a few. I can help a few, but it's not just me. Can't, I, I need your help. And honestly, it's not me even doing it. It's us together doing it. And the favor I have is just to share what we're doing here. I am offering, you know, as much free platforms as I can to help people start to shift away from our current global health culture which is in demise <laughs> it is a, it is a pandemic in and of its own self our current state of health and well-being in the world in the world not just north america okay we're going to be doing um our chest exercises now so you may want to mat I'm trying to see so i i just need help you know, I met most of you through somebody who referred you to me. Help me reach more people. How can you do that? Just invite people. The, let me share with you what the, the true goal is. Okay, we're doing chest and my little tiny piece of paper here, a plank, okay. I don't wanna start this before I'm laying down. Okay, so we're gonna be doing presses and flies. I'm gonna push myself today, I'm gonna use the 20s. Okay, ready ladies? Okay, into our position and we're pressing. 
Now you can, if you want, lift your butt. What my real mission is and, and what I what I sort of envision is kind of a movement and a movement happens, <laughs> it starts with a few. It starts with a few, you are my few. And I wanna help people re-establish well-being in their life. And, and that's, not about, that's not about dieting. And it's not even necessarily about working out. It's about um, establishing core values, re-establishing core values, right? Um, reducing processed foods and takeout, reducing sugary drinks, energy drinks, like that kind of stuff, right? Um, Re-establishing more movement into our days. Um, seeing some sunlight, right? Okay, plank, sorry. This one's harder to transition. So this is our upper body set. So make sure again, your, um, sorry, it's our chest, our front, front frontal chain. <laughs> That's not the right word, but. So make sure those shoulder blades are squeezed. Um, you can do low plank, especially if you have bad wrists, you can always do low plank. Okay, we're resting. Okay, but get, get back into position because we're going back in, so we're doing three rounds of this. My, my, what I'm working on is trying to be as visible as possible on as many platforms as possible. I was redesigning my YouTube channel yesterday. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I made a banner all by myself. Check it out, it looks, it looks pretty good. It took me about 17 tries <laughs> to do it. Okay, presses. So if you want to lift, you can. Work the butt a little bit. Squeeze your butt. This is also going to create more of an incline press. If you're new, just keep your butt down because it's too many things to think about. Or if you're, or another way you can increase is just increase the weight. Because I'm, I'm seriously not asking anything. I want to help people realize the value of their health and well-being and, and, and move it higher up their list. Like I talked yesterday about our houses and our cars and you know how many things we have pride of ownership I just want to help people rediscover pride pride of ownership of themselves I had a couple ladies reach out to me say yeah in my spare time I clean my house why don't I why don't I look after me right when when you die are you gonna be like so proud that you had a clean house your whole life are you gonna be so proud that your car was always shiny like like just re reshuffling our values and our and our priorities right and you ladies already you already do you're there you're already there but there's so many people in the world and i just know how how you have helped me and i know better like with i, I say this all the time but i, I mean it so genuinely i you have helped me. So I know <laughs> I know I was struggling to start again and I was struggling to stay committed. And so I know the power of our community that we've created here together. So just share. Tell people um, you know if you're willing share the workouts to your to your Facebook page. Um, I think the most important message I want everyone to know is that these workouts are for everybody. They're about showing up and showing up only really in the beginning um, and doing what you can. If you have to take breaks or if you have to do what I'm doing with no weights, just do what you need to do because you will get stronger as you continue to show up. Failing to show up, <laughs> you know, you're not gonna get stronger. Okay, last plank. And
and true truthfully the biggest work um, needs to be done on our minds right and the, the world needs the biggest work done on it on its mind as well and the thing is I see it trickling into um, our future generations like I see it trickling into the mindset of my kids and their, their teams their, their communities their friends um, what does that mean for like the future gen generation right like and if you think back to our parents generation how different it was like when I look at the way my grandparents ate they ate food portion sizes were much smaller eating out wasn't was like a special thing it wasn't a regular thing all right press okay this next one's gonna be tough this next, next one's gonna be tough okay ready I don't know I think I like miss miscalculated okay so we want elbows underneath the the wrist actually we're gonna do both at a time okay both at a time so notice my elbows turn sideways are underneath my wrists right so that basically your forearms are perpendicular and then the other thing to note is that the the I'm not out here right I'm, I'm coming in bicep curls I was gonna grab lighter weights for these <laughs> my biceps aren't ready for these yet three seconds and then we're going into spider plank okay so we're gonna be on the ground and we're gonna bring our I got too much stuff going on here bring our knee to elbow you, you don't have to do it on your weight you can do it on the ground make sure your butt is down lifting with that oblique lifting and controlled we're not doing mountain climbers good job okay, I'm make these out of the way How's everybody doing? Everybody feeling good? Some of you said you like working upper body, so this is for you. All right. Here we go. Okay. Press. Now I want, here's the other thing. Lock your knees. Squeeze your butt. Pull that core in. Do you feel how much easier they feel when you do that? Pulling that core in. Pressing. Think of pressing with your elbows. The reason I say that is so that you keep your elbows forward. They're, they almost feel like they're pointing forward. Okay. Bicep curls. I think we're going to go through and do one more of each round because I calculated time very poorly today <laughs> so we're gonna do another round of these we're gonna be so buff ladies <laughs> I know you cardio junkies are probably like hating this right now but honestly changes in our body come from resistance training Cardio is for fun. <laughs> Cardio is for enjoyment. And I say that sadly because if I could just run, I probably would. Four seconds, three, two, one. So if you're a cardio junkie, it's, it's a sad reality. If you're not a cardio junkie, if you hate cardio, it's good news for you. Um, the other bad news is most of our results come from the kitchen. The kitchen, 
I would say what you eat, resistance training, movement, like walking, um, are your are your three strategies that are going to make them the biggest difference. Okay, last set. Other than our bonus round, we're going to do a bonus round because I think we have time for one more set of each. So remember, squeeze that butt. Like, squeeze like you're cracking a walnut. <laughs> Five seconds. Okay, bicep curls. We all want to be more confident. We all want to be more self-assured. And by confidence, what I really mean is comfortable with who we are without worrying too much about what other people think. That's what, that's what I want, right? I think that's what a lot of us want. I think one of the best ways to work on confidence is to prioritize your health and well-being. It, like it really is because there's a TikTok that says you, you're supposed to say what you did and then say, am I better than everyone? It's a joke, right? Like, whew, my arms. You kind of have that feeling when you work out, don't you? When you work out, when you eat well, you have a feeling like, am I better than everyone? You really do. That's confidence. And the converse is true that when you're not working out or moving, I don't know, is that just me? Is that just me that feels like that? When you're not, your confidence is in the toilet because you know you should. I feel like every angst we feel in life, like every negative feeling, is connected to us not doing something we know we should. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm super thirsty today. <clears throat> All right, let's go. So we're back to rows. I'm feeling this today. I love it. Anyone feeling legs from yesterday? So for those of you, just as a heads up, for those of you who follow me on my YouTube channel or are doing this workout from my YouTube channel, I messed up last week. I thought last week was week eight. So you'll notice <laughs> that there's three workouts for week eight and this week's workouts are labeled work week seven. So that is because I couldn't figure out how to <coughs> edit the title. So I just improvised, but I do have a lady that was, that emailed me and God bless her because she makes my day every time she emails me. <coughs> she couldn't find a workout. And there was one week that I glitched and I didn't, I didn't download it. So I know that some people are following them in sequence and so that's, What's gonna happen? You're gonna get to week six and it's gonna go to week eight and then it's gonna go to week seven. It's because I'm challenged. So there you go. But they are all organized and my son showed me how to organize into playlists. Okay. <clears throat> That's the first one. They're still gonna have lots of time. I'd end up doing it again. Okay, we're taking a 30 second rest and we're going to go into back to our presses. Get your weight, weights ready so you can grab them. Okay, ready? Presses. You don't have to lift your butt, remember. I'm lifting my butt. I'm feeling good today. I definitely partly because of the weather. I have slept literally like a dead person the last three nights. Like I can't even tell you. 
it's, it makes, it's been hard to get up because I'm sleeping so deeply. But it feels fantastic, I gotta say. I love my sleep, honestly. Sleep is one of my, <laughs> talking about priorities and values, sleep is at the top of my list. Like I am not willing <laughs> to give up sleep for very much in life. It's good and bad. <laughs> It was one of the, the biggest fears I had when I ran 100 milers because we had to go through, <coughs> we had to go through the night, plank. And uh, my sister and I both, like we love our sleep and we hate being tired. And so I had this, like I, it just was something I feared and worried about is being up all night and not liking it. <laughs> while everybody else was sleeping and comfortable comfortable in their beds. Uh, it turned out as I as I did it, um, it turned out to be my favorite part of the races. I actually turned out to <coughs> quite enjoy. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more set and then we're gonna finish with our grand slam stuff. So we're going to do 100 core, we're going to do our squats, our burpees. Alrighty, here we go. <clears throat> this was a really solid workout today, or at least I feel, I'm feeling like this was a good one. So congrats to you. Ten more seconds. Oh, these are really creeping up, I gotta say. Five, four, three, two, one. Bicep curls. <clears throat> you better be ripped after this. <laughs> <clears throat> 10 seconds. And then we go down to our spider planks. Remember, all your planks can be done on your elbows or on your hands. One more. Okay. Spider plank. Oh, I've got like serious jelly arms right now. If you're not feeling this, <clears throat> try it again with heavier weights. I made, for those of you, I think most of you are in my wellness group. I made two of the salads yesterday. I made the peach tomato salad. It is literally like, gotta say, one of my most favorite, I'm gonna get, I still need this, summer salads. I was waiting for peaches to be in season. <clears throat> so I made that, I made the Greek Pharaoh salad. So good, both so good. Those are my lunches and dinners for the next few days. We literally have to go to baseball because the kids have tryouts all afternoon and then get two games tonight, I think. Um, okay, so we did our planks. Let's start with our squats. So, and then I cooked up, um, I've told you before, the chicken avocado burgers. Three, four, five, six, seven again you can do these with or without weights eight nine ten okay so that's our squats let's do our our core we're gonna do something different today we're gonna do ten sets of ten so let's start with these guys let's do it this way I don't do these very often but so Get what these are called bird dogs that's three four five six i can feel my butt from yesterday seven eight nine ten okay up into plank 
We're going to do mar plank marches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten plank rockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulder taps. That's four, right? We did bird dog marches. No, that's, is that three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many is that? Bird dog? Well, let's just do plank jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's 50. Rolling over. We start with dead bug, which is the opposite of bird dog. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, side reaches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rope climbs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wipers. So legs are up and you're going to go back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, how many was that? That was 30, 40. Okay, we have 10 more. Finish with Russian twists. I lied, rowboats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we did plank. We did, okay, let's go through core, squats, plank, jacks, boat. We gotta do boat. Okay, ready? Boop. Go. Oh, these are gonna suck. So, I made the chicken avocado burgers patties. Um, you could also do like a slab of salmon, like a, a big slab of plank of salmon. You could do, we did a bunch of chicken breasts. Anyway, so that's the secret. That's my secret. <laughs> that's my secret. I have three salads in the fridge, a quinoa kale salad, farro salad, and my peach and tomato salad, and I got a bunch of meat. So I just throw them in containers and off I go for the day. But it's great if you're on holiday too. Like if you're at the cottage or if you're camping, I do the exact same thing because I don't want to cook. I, I don't want to have to cook stuff. Okay, 10 burpees to finish. One, two, three. Oh, the squats were for, for Quinn. Four, five. The burpees are from me. Six, seven, Eight. Go faster than me if you can. Nine. Last one. Or slower if you need to. Or modify anything you need to. Woo! Always good to finish with burpees. Congratulations. Way to get another one done. Every time you get one done, you just you just tickle. It's just another. Oh my god, I can't talk. Coin in your jar. Coin in your jar. Coin in your jar. Christmas. Where are you going to be at Christmas if you just keep plopping those coins? Possibilities, right? Have an awesome day. Thanks again.